Hi there, Russell Stratton, President and Leadership Champion with Blue Gem Learning. I work with organizations just like yours to help develop managers to build engagement and to improve individual and team performance. As we're leaning into uh, Respect at Work Month, um, I thought I wanted to pick up on a couple of topics around that Respect at Work space. Um, the first one I wanted to look at was this concept about stereotyping, which often underpins a lot of the disrespect that perhaps we encounter in the workplace. Now, when I've won events and uh, workshops with people, I often ask, how many people here ever stereotype? And often, we have some people put their hand up, but a lot of people sort of say, no, no, Russ, I'd never do anything like that. You know, I am the paragon of virtue um, and would never dream of stereotyping other people. The reality is, of course, that we all actually stereotype, and sometimes for a very good reason. Stereotyping, well, what is it? Well, it's about assigning traits to people based upon a social category membership. So it's quite a natural thing for us to do. As we start to meet different people from different groups, we tend to try and categorize people to see um, which group they might fit into. Part of this is down to our fight and flight response. Is this somebody that I'd like to meet? Is it somebody I'd like to do business with? Or somebody that I need to stay away with? Really a sort of primeval type human response. Our problem with this is when we do our stereotyping and we've started to put people into categories, we automatically start to assign particular behavioral traits to people in a particular category or social group. Often this is that if it's a group that we are part of or that we identify with, we uh, assign positive characteristics. Because generally, most of us think positive things about ourselves. So people that are like us also must share those positive traits. The flip side of that is we tend to assign negative traits to groups that we don't identify with. This is this concept about othering. Okay, We're great over here, but the folks over here, not so much. What that means, of course, is that now we've started to get into a place where um, we look favorably upon ourselves, but less favorably upon others. And this can be the first stage, if we don't check this, where we start to move into discrimination, because we've already started to discriminate between what's good and what isn't. So next week, I'll be talking about how our belief drives our behavior at work. In the meantime, if you'd like to get a better handle on how you can make respect at work a reality in your workplace, click on the link below for more information about our Lunch and Learn. See you next time. Hi there, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that content. If you'd like more content like that, make sure you check out our videos here. And don't forget to go and log into our website, bluegemlearning.com, to find out information about our programs.